My name is Monica Espinasa, and I'm an assistant professor of biology and the chair of the biology department. The advantage of SUNY Ulster is these class sizes of, you know, lab is 10 students, and I see them for three hours every week and then three hours in class. And so then you, you feel really invested in their success. You, because you know them so well, you want to see them succeed. Okay, now we're gonna do an exercise that involves looking at hominin or human evolution. So what you have in front of you are sets of primate skulls. And the very first thing I would like you guys to do today is to line them up in the order that you think they evolved. Have this is the oldest, yeah. and then we're moving this way through human evolution. You guys are right on here. This is very good. Anybody here a primatologist or a paleoanthropologist? No? Okay, this is, <laughs> this is really good. This one is called either Australopithecus boisei or Paranthropus boisei, depending on who you're talking to. Um, but what are some characteristics of this that make it very different from a modern Homo sapien? Larger space for jaw muscle to go through. Very good. So you've got these, the zygomatic arch here it's called, right? These, this jawbone, and they're massive. Look at that. And you're, you're absolutely right, Ryan. So bones, I mean, sorry, muscles attach to the sagittal crest up here and go through this, masseter muscles, and attach to the jaw. So these guys could do a lot of chewing and probably had a really strong bite. When students have graduated, they've gone on to SUNY New Paltz, SUNY ESF, which is the uh, College of Environmental Science and Forestry. They've gone to local private schools. We've sent students to Marist, to Vassar, to Bard. We've had a lot of students move on to the DEP. We have an internship program there. It's a paid internship in the summer. You're out in the field, you're working with researchers. You know, it's something to put on your CV and you're getting one foot in the door of the DP. And some of our students have gone on to get jobs there, which I think is fabulous. Thank you.